Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the Empress bracelet, which goes with the Empress necklace or pendant. Now you don't have to have this to make this. This certainly stands on its own, but I wanted to add it to this little set, you know, sort of series that I'm making. So here, let me move these out of the way for a sec. And this is what it looks like. So this was the original right here, and I used the toggle and loop beaded toggle and loop closure that I made on a previous video and I'll link that below. Um, and then I have a peyote band to go on this and then when I was making this one I decided I'd like to try a pattern on the band and I just love the way that pattern came out. I think it's so pretty. Now one really good thing about the video, it's a long video and I'm going to put a lot of timestamps in. One good thing is that if you don't want to make the bezel you can just make this bracelet. How pretty is that just as a bracelet? Or this one. So, um, one other thing, uh, I wouldn't say this is a beginner video. Some place is a beginner. Like, if you want to learn Odd Can Peyote, stay with me, then, and you don't want to do the bezel, then you're just going to go to the area, the part where, um, the timestamp where I start the band, and then you can make, you can learn uh, Odd Can Peyote. So, we're going to do a learn a lot of things here. We're going to learn how to attach this clasp, how to attach the band to the bezel, you're going to learn Odd Count Peyote, you're going to learn the pattern. Um, for those of you who um, don't want to do it this way, I pulled out a couple of things that we have made in the past that would be a real pretty bracelet for the Empress necklace. So if you wanted to use this, just the bezel from this video, you can put it on the full moon necklace and a uh, bracelet. And look how beautiful is that? That makes a gorgeous bracelet. And also if you like the interlaced bezel um, bracelet, you can just use this um, pattern to make, to put it um, like that with the interlace band on it. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to clear everything off, get a materials list going, and we're going to get started. Like I said, I wouldn't say it's a beginner bracelet beginner because bracelet, there are a lot of different techniques. However, if you want to try following along, try following along and see how it goes. And if you, you know, if you find you're having difficulty, just stop. Just maybe make the bracelet or just maybe watch it and, you know, try some of the techniques and see how that works for you. All right, so I'm going to clear this off and we're going to get started. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So you need this little... Um, 18 by 13 millimeter fancy stone and this is a Potomac Crystals fancy stone actually and it's a really beautiful stone and I love that sort of milky opaly color and I will put the color all the colors down in the description box below the video. Let me pull out a little bit so you need one of those. You can use a Swarovski as well, whatever you have. Um, you'll need a main color Delica and mine is the bronze. We're going to do this one today and then a contrasting color Delica or any color Delica um, for the blue part here. So any colors that you love. If you're just doing the plain one, you just need one Delica color. I love that. Look how beautiful that sparkles. That gorgeous. Catches my eye. Okay, you need a 15-0 seed bead. I have two different colors here. I just put a lighter color just on the last round inside in the interior of the bezel and I just thought it looked pretty like light was shining on it but you can use one color so I have two different 15 O's here just need a few of these of the contrasting color an 11 O seed bead for all your embellishing you need one of these clasps this is the beaded toggle clasp that's my last video I'll put a link in the description box below to that video so that you can um, you know you can go to it and make that toggle You'll need a size 10 uh, and a 12 beading needle. I Or even, you know, split the difference and use an 11. <laughs> Just have a smaller one handy. I'm using um, black satin 6-pound fire line. You can use 8-pound black satin as well. Uh, I think that will work just fine. Did I say stop bead? I will stop bead right there All also. Okay, so don't forget to look in the description box below the video for all sizes, colors, shapes, amounts, everything you need to make either one of these bracelets, the colors, everything. I put some I'll put some links down there to some of the beads that I've purchased to make these. Um, anything I forget, any more info that you might need will be down there, so don't forget to click the down arrow on the show more. You know the drill. All right, so I'm going to clear this off and we're going to get started. And also, don't forget to look at the timestamps. The timestamps are going to be right up at the top. So if, you know, we're going to start with the bezel, and then if you want to stop somewhere, or if you want to look ahead, or if you want to go back, whatever, you'll have all these different timestamps so that you can get to the place in the video you like. So even if you just don't want to do the bezel and you just want to make a bracelet using this um, peyote pattern, you can even just go there and just do that. So I'm trying to make it really easy to navigate because it is a long video. All right, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, let's start the bezel. 
So thread your needle with about three feet of thread, put on a stop bead around in the middle, and you're going to pick up 40 of your 11 Odelicas. Make those into a circle by just sewing through the first bead after the stop bead. Like that. And a pull. Now we're just going to do our regular peyote bezel. So you're going to pick up a bead, exiting this bead, skip the next bead, so through the following bead. Like that. Make sure that bead pops on to the previous one. Pick up a Delica, exiting here, skip the next one, so through the following one. Pick up a Delica, exiting here, skip this one, so through the next one. Just like that. So let's do that all the way around and keep it relatively loose. You don't want them bunching up too much. And then meet me at the end and we'll step up. Okay, coming down to the end, I've got a couple of beads to put on. So exiting here, skipping the next one, sewing through the following one. And now I'm going to step up. So I'm picking up a Delica, exiting here. I'm going to skip this bead. I'm going to sew through the next bead, that's this guy, and the one on the diagonal. Just like that. I'm going to pull, and my thread is up there, ready for some more beads. All right, so get that done, and uh, then we'll put another round on. Okay, let's add another round on. So we're going to work with the um, bronze delicas now. So all I'm going to do is pick up a bronze bead. I'm going to sew through the next sticking out delica. Do that all the way around. Just like that. So do that all the way around, and then meet me at the end, and we'll step up. Okay, coming down to the end, just putting in my last couple of delicas, starting to curve in a little bit. So here I'm exiting this blue bead. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sew through this blue one right here. See that? So exiting here, sewing through this blue one and the bronze one on the diagonal. It's gonna step me up just like that. So right now, I'm not going to pull too tight, just going to leave it. So I'm going to grab my other thread, take my stop bead off. So this is the front that we just did. And we'll add more beads there, but I want to get some on the back first. So here I am, I'm on the back, I've just threaded a needle. And I just want to move my thread to the interior up bead. So I'm exiting here, I'm just going to do this. Just going to put me in the right place. Now I'm going to take some 15 O's and I'm using the light bronze and I'm going to add a 15 O in between each of the delicas. Like that. And you're just going to do that all the way around until you get to the end. And then you're going to step up. I figure you can step up now on your own, so then you're going to step up and put another round on. So this round, and then one more, and then meet me back here. I'm back for a second just to step up with you. Okay, so here I am, exiting, I put this bead on, I'm exiting the Delica, just going to sew through this one. So I'm picking up a bead, sewing through the Delica, and then that 15 up on the diagonal. Sorry about that, it's my wire. And then I'm just going to add a 15 out. In between every sticking out 15 0 or up bead, if you want to call it like that. So do that all the way around and then come on back and we'll continue the front. Okay, we're back. So here is the back, and I just stepped up and I've just left my. You can just leave this needle for now or you can sew it in. But so I'm just going to move to the front just to get the front going. So at this point, I'm going to pull. I see how everything is curved a bit. So I'm going to put my, my stone in like that. 
and you can hold the stone in while we go around or you can yeah actually just hold it hold it with your thumb and the middle finger right there we're exiting Adelica I want you to start putting on 15 O's so one 15 O between each Adelica like that I do that all the way around. It's like we've been doing. And then you're going to step up and do one more round of the, the um, light, light bronze 15 O's. And then come on back and we'll finish okay, up. Okay, coming down to the end, I have one last 15 O to put on. So here I'm exiting. I've just put this one on right here. Sitting here, I'm going to sew through this one and the one on the diagonal to add my last 15 O on. And then we're going to add some of the, we're going to make sort of that little point um, interior part. So, but before we do that, I just want you to take a look at your, your stone and look at your bezel. And we're going to do some stitch in the ditch around the back here. So I just want to make sure for when we put the band on later, because we're going to attach it to the stitch in the ditch, that you have a, an up delica kind of right in the center right there, center, right there. So you see this delica here, and then there's a, you're gonna put, be putting a bead right in between these four beads. So the way you can kind of center it is like that. It should be coming out just this way, but if it doesn't, you can always kind of like just move it around a little at this point, just a, a fraction, um, just to make sure that you're, you know, you've got a nice center going on there with this guy up here, so that when we put the stitch in the ditch here, we have a bead right here that's going to be centered on the top and the bottom, and then our band will go on beautifully. All right, just a little note there. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start adding the last round and make those little points around the interior. So I'm going to pick up the gold bead, and I'm just going to, I'm exiting one of the up beads. I'm just going to sew through the next one like that. Now I'm just going to advance my thread, my needle and thread through this one, so it's the next bead, no beads on, and then the one up here on the diagonal, like that. I'm going to add another gold bead. See how that's going to make those little points on the inside? Do it one more time. So exiting this little 15 now. I'm going to sew through these two. I just do them one at a time, just because the angle is sometimes difficult to get your needle through. Sew through those two beads. Put on a little gold 15 0 And so on. And you're going to do that all the way around. And then meet me at the end and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So I've put on my last little gold bead sewn through. You know, the 15 0 Now I'm just going to move my thread on the diagonal till I get to the blue beads. Sew through that 15 0 through the gold, the bronze delica coming around and I want to end up right there so you see where we're going to put a stitch in the ditch on here okay so now we're just going to pick up a, a delica exiting here I'm just going to sew through the next delica Put a stitch in the ditch on. Do that again. Just gonna do that all the way around. And you see how that puts that 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 one right there, so I can use that as a reference point when I put the band on. And you'll see that later. Just gonna go all the way around. Okay, so just. Do that all the way around, and at the end, you're just going to go through your last one, and then you'll, you can, at this point, you can leave that thread, or you can sew the thread in, and then we're going to start the band. All right, see so you back for a second. I just wanted to show you at the end. So here I'm going to put my last stitch in the ditch on, and then I'm just going to sew through that first one I put on, and then I'm going to just going to just move my thread 
just to the back like so. And I tend to hold on to these threads just in case I can use them later. All right, so get that done and then we'll continue. Okay, let's start our Odd Count Peyote pattern. So thread your needle with about five feet of thread, put on a stop bead and leave enough of a tail to sew in. So here's my printed pattern, just for reference. So my A bead is the background bead, so it's the gold bead here. So my A bead is this um, bronzy one. And my B bead is this red bead, is the pattern bead. Okay, so A, B, so A, B. I have the word chart up here. We'll do several clips until we've finished the pattern repeat. So as you can see, we have rows one and two. Is going to be the setup row. So that's going to be, you're going to put on three A's, three B's, and three A's. And you're going to drop those down to your stop bead, just like that. Okay, you're going to, let's see if I can get on, pick up an A. You're going to skip this bottom bead and sew through the next bead. So just regular peyote right now. So it looks like we're going to pick up a B, skip this one, sew through the next one. Sitting here, skip this one, so through the next one. So this is row three. I know it's, you know, peyote can be confusing in that way, but just know that the, we're on row three. So that first setup row, the first two rows. I'm going to pick up a B, exiting here, skip this one, so through this one. The first row is always hard for me to hold when I'm trying <laughs> to um, demonstrate, but I'm, gonna, I'm doing my best. Okay. And now we want to do the peyote turn, so the odd count turn. So I want to put an A bead on. And I want this A bead, let me move this out of the way. I want this A bead to go right here. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to pick up an A. See the loose bead right here? I'm going to sew through that loose bead, the bead under it, and that BB, that green one, on the diagonal. I'm going to pop that bead down with my finger. Just give it a pull, like that. So it looks like, so I have my bead here, and I want to start beading again down, I want to come down, but I'm coming out of this bead, so I have to move my thread. You're just moving your thread to come out of this bead here, the bottom of this bead. So to do that, I'm just, I'm exiting here, I'm just going to go through this bead. Up through this one. And the one to the left of that one on top of it. Now, let me pull my threads a little bit. There we go. And then I'm just going to sew down through this bead. And that's going to position my needle to put more, my thread to put more beads on. This is what it looks like. All right, so get that done, and then we'll go to the next clip. We'll do a couple more rows. Okay, we are on, on row four now. So we had did our the two, one and two, which was a setup row, and then three was the, this last row. And now we're on row four. So one B. An A. An A. And a B. In row five, we're just going to go back up. One B. An A. An A. An A. Oops. I got 
two on there. Let me take one off. Okay. So, an A, and then we're going to put on a B. So this is the way we have to do our turn. So exiting here, just going to sew through these three. So the top bead, this one, and the one underneath it. All on the diagonal, right there. Pop that bead over. Now all I want to do is move my thread around so I can come out of this bead, right here, the bottom of this bead. So I'm just going to go through the bead right next to the one I'm exiting. I'm going to go over to the left one. I'm going to go up this one. And then down this one. Now I'm set up to put more beads on. Alright, so get that done and then we'll move on to the next couple of rows. Okay, row six. Picking up a B. So through the next bead. Straighten myself out a little bit. Pick up an A. The next one. Pick up an A. Through the next one. Pick up a B. Like that. Going back up again. Picking up an A. A B. An A. A B. And an A. So this is our turn again. So here's my A. Just going to sew through this one, this one, and this one. So these three are right here. I'm going to pop it over with my finger. And then I'm just going to work my way up to that top bead. Like that. This one. And down through this one. We're getting there. Okay, so get that done and move on to the next group. Okay, we're up to row eight. Let's pick up an A, a B, a B, and an A. And then I'm going to do row nine. So A. A, a B, an A, and another A. So I have to do our turn. Just going to pick up an A, so through these three. I'm going to go back up, so through these two, so the one next to it, and the one to the left through this one, and back through this one. Okay, so this is where we are. We're going to go to row 10, but I just wanted to mention that when you are done with the length of your bracelet, you know, one side of your bracelet, um, end on row 9. And if, you know, if you need a few more beads after that, we can always add just background colors um, because if you want the ending to be, you know, when you put your, when you put the ring on, the toggle ring is, it, it'll be fine, but when you put on the, um, the toggle bar, it would be nice if you had like some sort of a nice ending on one side. So just saying, <laughs> just so end on row nine and then we can always, like I said, add more beads if you need to. All right, so I'm going to go to row 10 now. So one A, a B, a B, and an A. Oops, a not going there. So there we go. That is, this is where you're going to go back 
and repeat from row three through row 10 again. Row three to row 10, row three to row 10, and keep doing that until you come to the end. Like I said, if you can end on row nine, that would be really good so we can make a real pretty ending for the toggle bar. Okay, so get that done and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, so we're gonna attach the bands now. Now this one's shorter because I ran out of beads, but I can still attach without a problem. So here's the end where I'm going to attach the clasp on either end. Here is where I'm going to attach so this the to the bezel, which is the you know the thread with the tail thread and the stop bead. So let's just do this side first. So you just want to take off your stop bead and sew that tail in just so it's out of the way. Now we're going to do some setup beads on the bezel and I'll try to pull in a little more. So here we've remember we found center, so this delica right up here and this delica down here is going to be where, you know, it just kind of gives me a reference point. So here's the delica down here, the center delica. I'm going to move over three delicas and, and go up with my needle. Okay, I'll do that again. So here's the center. Here's the delica right here. So that's in the center, right down the middle. I'm going to count one, two, three delicas, and I'm going to go up that delica, just with my needle and thread. So I have about a foot and a half of thread on here. And um, a stop bead with the, enough of a tail to sew in. So then I'm just going to pick up a delica and sew through the next delica. I'm going to pick up a delica, sew through the next delica. I'm going to pick up another delica. So I'm using the background color here. Sew through the next delica. Pick up one more and sew through this one. So then if you notice, when I pull the stop bead out of the way, here's my top, one, two, three, I have a thread coming out of this one. Here's the bottom, one, two, three, I have connected here as well. So I'm just gonna let you get that set up row done and then come back and we'll attach the band. Attach the band. So very easy. Let's see if I can pull it even tighter. So I'm exiting this bead right here, you know, that we had, we just went through. I'm just going to sew down through the first bead on the edge of my bracelet. We're just going to zip it up now. So I'll just hold it apart. I'll hold it like this for now. So see, just bead to bead right there. Now I'm exiting this top bead on the band. I'm going to sew through the next sticking out delica on the bezel. like that. I'm going to try to keep it on the mat as long as I can. And then I'm going to go through the next sticking out bead on the band. Let me move these guys out of the way. Okay, so that's the next sticking out bead on the band. And then I'm going to go through the next sticking out bead on the bezel. And then the next sticking out bead on the band. Like that. So we're just sipping. And the next sticking out bead on the bezel. Now I'm going to pick it up. And then the next sticking out bead on the band. And I'm sort of pulling inward a little bit. And then the next sticking out bead on the bezel. And then the next sticking out bead on the band. And this is what it looks like so far. I'm going to give it a little pull from the tail. Do you see how it pulled everybody in? So we have one more bead to go through. So we're exiting here. You want to go up through this bead to attach. And now you're all attached. Cool, huh? All right, so all you want to do at this point is start sewing up through the beads to make sure everybody's attached nicely. And then go, you know, um, go through a few beads, reverse direction, go through a few more beads until it's nice and secure. Then come on back and we'll start the other side. Okay, so let's get the other side on. So here, this is 
where we how we finished the one side. I'm just going to flip it over this side. Here's my band. Here's my center delica right here. So here, one, two. See, that's where that band that end started. Um, here, one, two. Go through this guy. We'll do the setup row. So you know you have your about 14 inches of thread on your needle and a stop bead. Then we're just going to add some delicas. So we have our setup row on. Just going to hold this. I'll just put it down like that. And now we're just going to attach the band. So exiting this delica, I'm just going to sew through the first delica on the band. So that sticking out delica right there. And then I'm going to sew through the next delica on the bezel. And then the next delica on the band, just like we did before. And the next delica on the bezel. And the next sticking out delica on the band. And then the next trying to give you a thread path here. Sticking out Delica on the bezel. So see how the thread path, how that goes. And then the next one on the band. Almost there. Next one on the bezel. I'll pick it up. I'm going to move this out of the way. The next one on the band. And then I'm going to give that a nice pull. And then we're just going to go down through this one on the bezel. And now you're connected. So you want to make sure that's nice and tight. So you want to pull both ends. Like you'll be tightening, pulling yours tight the whole time. I just wanted to give you a little thread path. All right, so now you want to make sure that this is tight up at the top. So here I'm exiting this delica right here. I think I'm just going to go down through. Let's say go, let's go through. Let's go through this one. You want to make sure it's secure. Okay, that secures it a lot better. And then I'm just going to go down a few beads. Like that. And then I'm going to reverse direction. And then you want to take this thread and you want to make sure this is attached to the bezel really nicely. So you want to make, so you want to, um, you know, sew that thread in. And then when you're done, come back and we'll start one end of the clasp. Okay, we're going to add the toggle now. So this is how it's going to go, right on top. So I'm going to turn my piece around. I've ended on row nine. Now just, you know, if you don't end on that row, that's fine for the for this because it's it's going to cover whatever. So don't worry about it. All right, so here I am. I'm exiting this bottom bead. I'm just going to do a setup row. I'm going to put on one. Just using all my background color beads now. So I have I put four beads on. Like that. Okay. So here, this is why I'm holding it. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this pink one so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to attach, so my thread's coming out of here, I'm just gonna zip up to the interior beads on the on the um, the ring here. So let me see if I can. I'll try to do it on the mat, some of it anyway. So any, you see these up beads, I'm going to call these up beads in the interior. That's that first bead right here, okay, around the end. So I'll, I'll just hold my needle there for a minute. So that's as soon as you get the attachment. It doesn't matter where you attach on the ring because it's a circle. As long as you're attaching on one of those beads going around that, that are sticking up. So here I'm just going to pull that through. And just see how that is going to attach it so we can zip it up. All right, I'll just leave it on the mat. So I'm exiting this bead on the ring. I'm going to go through the bead, the up bead on the toggle, like that. I'll try to leave it loose. And then through the 
Next bead on the ring right there. And the next bead on the toggle. Yep, just zipping like that. You'll be tightening it. I just want to give you a thread path. Okay. Next bead on the toggle. Right here. Now I'm going to hold it and I'm going to pull. So you see how I'm zipping up? So here I'm coming out of the bead on the toggle. Now I'm going to go through the bead on the ring and then the next one on the toggle and I'm gonna have to sort of move, my, move everybody around a little bit so I can stay in frame so let me just get through it okay so the next bead on the ring and the next bead on the bracelet and the next bead on the ring going to be this one. Let me just move it around like that. And the next bead on. Whoops. We'll take a pull right now. And then, we're, so we're exiting right here. You're going to have to attach these two ends. So just sew through that end bead and the one after on the diagonal and now you're attached and you give it a nice pull and when you look inside you see how we're all zipped up so then you just want to um, reinforce all the way around go up up on the diagonal um, you know do a little um, reverse direction and such so that you um, so that it's on nice and secure. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to leave the pink one on. All right, so there you go. So get that done and come back and we'll put on the toggle. Okay, we're going to add the toggle bar. So this is what I was saying about the repeat being at the end of the toggle bar like that. So, you, you know, it's nice if the repeat is there. It's going to come out a little bit. So if you're sort of in between repeats, try to get that repeat on so you have a full diamond. Or if you have, if you have a full repeat and you need some more beads, maybe do a repeat with just the... Uh, background color um, or if it doesn't bother you if it's sort of in the ha halfway through or partial way through that's fine too so just you know just giving you a little some options there <laughs> okay so before we put the bar on we're going to do a little um, decreasing here so I'm going to pick up a Delica I'm just using my background color now so through the next one pick up a Delica so through the next one through the next one so I'm going to put the four beads on right here, like that. Now I'm going to turn around. I want to come out of this bead. So I'm just going to sew through the bead that's right next to the bead I'm exiting, the one above, like sort of to the left. So again, just using the beads to turn around, going down this one, and then up this one. Okay, so now I'm exiting where I want to be. I'm going to put on a Delica. One more. And another one. Okay, now I have, this is what I have so far. Now I want to turn around and come out of this bead here. So maybe I'll just let you get to this point and then we'll turn around and move our thread. Let's turn our thread around. So we're going to so through this one and this one and I'm going to go through this one. I'm just kind of winging it right now just to get <laughs> to that, um, to this bead. I want to come out of this bead. So then, okay, I'm exiting here. Okay, so I'll go up this one and then through this one. Now I can add some more beads. Pick up a bead. So through this one, pick up another one. So through this one. So here we've decreased to here. Now I want to I want to come out of this bead. So I'm just going to again turn around, go through this one. 
through this one, back down this one, and across this one. That's where you want to be. So get to that point, and then we'll add the bar, okay? So I'm going to pick up, see if I have a couple, um, two of my 11 O's. So I'm using regular 11 O's here, and I need to find another one. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to take two 11 O seed beads. I'm going to find the center delica, or as close to possible, on my toggle bar. So I'm just wing, I'm eyeballing it. Looks like it's about there to me. Just going to sew through that delica. Like that. I'm going to take two more 11 o seed beads and I'm going to sew right down these four beads on the other side. Okay? Just like that. And then I'm going to sew through this one to attach it. And then you want to go through all the beads and you want to reinforce again. So I think what we'll do is we'll just, I'll get you started on it. You know, I'm just going to go on the diagonal until I get to the other side. So like that. And through that one. Probably don't need me to do this. I'm just working my way over. And if I've, you know, kind of lost my way a little bit, I'll just go <laughs> through this one. There we go. Through this one. Through this one. Just doing everything on the diagonal, and then back up to these four, like that. You got it. You're going to go around the toggle bar and down again, and then sew your threads in. So get that done, and come on back, and we're getting there. Okay, let's put the pico edge on. So I'm just going to, I'm going to start actually here, and then one thread's going to go this way, and one's going to go that way. And that way it's, you know, just one thread going here and one thread going here instead of putting a whole bunch of threads on. So I've threaded my needle with about two and a half feet of thread, put on a stop bead about mid midway. I'm just going to sew through that center bead and let half the thread come go this way and half the thread come this way. And I'm going to pick up an 11 i I'm going to sew through the next delica. I'm going to pick up an 11 o throw sew through the next delica. Pick up an 11 o Sew through the next delica, which is the one on the bracelet. Now stay with me. I want to turn around and I want to come back out the bead I'm exiting right now. So I'm going to sew through the bead on the diagonal, so under the one I'm exiting. Up through this one. Through this one. Monkey turn. <laughs> back through this one. Okay? And then back through the one originally original one I'm exiting. And that's where I want to start my first pico because I like it sort of roughly looking. So I want the pico to start at this point. So I'm gonna pick up three eleven O's. I'm exiting this bead right here. I'm just gonna sew down the next one. And that's going to kind of sit it behind the bead that I've just put on the bezel. And I like it because it, it, there's no space there then. It gives it that sort of, like I said, that roughly look. So and sew through the next bead. Pick up three. Sew down through the next one. And up through the next one. Keep going. That's what you're going to do all the way down. And they kind of go to the side, like bunch up a little bit. But I really like, the, you know, like I said, I like that ruffly look. So do that all the way down on this side. Take the stop bead off. Do the same thing here on this end. And, you know, just attach at the end here. You know, you'll just go through the beads. Um, 
you know, on the band and on the back of this, you'll just, you know, your la you'll put your last pico on and then you'll just sew up through the band on this side as well. So I'm going to let you go off and do that by yourself and then come on back and we'll finish up. We're done. So I've sewn all my threads in and this is how it looks. Really pretty. Looks great on. Very cute. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it sort of went off a little bit in different directions. <laughs> I, and you got lots of different techniques going on here. You know, make the whole thing. Just make this bracelet as a bracelet. Make it without the the um, edging, however you like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have fun playing with all these different um, techniques that we learned. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.